So I've got COVID, which isn't great, and my voice is terrible, but it's left me with some time to record, which is nice. So I wanted to talk about something that's been heavy on my mind, which is just that tribalism is a scapegoat. Uh, a lot of problems are being blamed on tribalism, um, and especially just in terms of how aggressive our society is right now and how diff just how problematic our discourse and rhetoric are. Um, but, but I w wanted to make the point that that's not tribalism's fault, or, or rather, tribal what we call tribalism isn't really a very coherent idea. Um, it's a scapegoat. Because there's nothing inherent to um, to the idea of dividing a society up into groups that causes violence or hatred or anger. There's nothing significant about that. Um, and, and like differences between group A and group B, it's like those differences exist whether or not you do them along a group line. Um, and there's and uh, <laughs> there's so many different groups that don't hate each other even with dramatic differences. Um, even even the term tribalism is kind of concerning. Um, I've been studying uh, what's called federal Indian law. It's the uh, body of law that governs uh, uh, tribal uh, Indian tribes in the United States. And and here Indian is a term of art. Um, it, it's equivalent to Native American basically, but in the law, um, uh, the law consistently uses the term Indian, so you kind of have to use it anyway. Looking at the history of tribes, it's like this notion of tribal division as being this warlike or hostile way of organizing society is just fictitious. Plenty of tribes were peaceful, benign, pacifistic even uh, in, in some cases. It's like there's nothing about a tribal structure that uh, makes violence necessary, let alone inevitable, um, or animus even. It's like people can figure out how to get along. Um, and that's, I think, really what gets, uh, why it's important to point this out as a scapegoat, um, because the issue isn't that we have groups in society. We need groups in society, believe it or not, and they're an important, and especially things like cultural heritage and whatnot are important ways of inheritance. Um, they're pla there's places where we can gen like help uh, develop like a sense of community, a sense, uh, uh, they're met, uh, gr like tribal groups are ways to inherit like culture and knowledge about how to interact with your world, um, things like that. It's like, uh, like culture isn't the problem or people having genuine bona fide beliefs or people having different moral beliefs or cultural beliefs or other things like that. That's not the issue here. Um, or that people want to defend those beliefs or hold on to them or that people care about those things because they should care about those things. You should, it's like your, inher your heritage is really important. Um, so it's like uh, tribalism or is not the issue here. The issue is people choosing to hate each other. That's the issue. <laughs> uh, it, it's like differences don't lead to hate unless you choose to hate. Like, there's always a choice, and, and that's really what's going on. Um, our society needs to learn, like, like even, even when we talk about fear, it's like difference can produce fear, sure, whatever, but fear doesn't lead to hate either. Like, that's not a, that's not a given. That's a step. Uh, and our society is constantly taking those steps. It's taking differences, it's taking fears, it's taking inconveniences um it's taking an unwilling like and does like converting that into actual hatred and enmity um because like a vibrant lovely culture or like civilization would be one where people are comfortable with each other's differences or at least know how to ma navigate them without like eviscerating each other um and, and I think that's the thing. It's it's like eliminating tr quote unquote tribalism isn't like a same goal um, because we want to have vibrant tribes in our culture um, or in our civilization. Uh, we should have many vibrant tribes, I'd like to think. Um, and so it's like it, the, the issue isn't tribalism. It's 
the fact that like we refuse to actually be remotely responsible with like with our differences because like the differences are fine um it, it, it's the enmity choice it's the choice to hate um and that's not what tribalism is that's not what it, like that's not a natural consequence of social like social structures um that's a choice um and and, and you look at um, times, like you look at things like breaking cycles of violence, you look at, uh, groups that have managed to do that. Um, and it's, it, what they didn't, it didn't require them to, uh, forget the hurt that they're, um, uh, like even, even when you take groups, uh, that have long histories of like violence between each other <coughs> and there's like inherited conflict and all that jazz, um, like for generations upon generations, what it took for them to achieve peace wasn't them abandoning their heritage or abandoning their different group statuses. Um, what it took was it for them to abandon their enmity, um, uh, to, to value, um, to no longer use their divisions or their history or their heritage as a reason to hate the hate of the problem, so to speak, not the social structures. So, um, I probably shouldn't belabor the point before my throat gives out, but, um, but that, but that's the thing. Um, tribalism isn't a big deal. Um, we, our society can be divided into tribes and it can work just fine. Um, it's, and, and and indeed, it's like we really could probably use more of that because um, a lot of us are do find ourselves without any sense of tribe, any sense of community, any sense of belonging, um, any sense of heritage. Where people end up and people often end up with really bizarre ideas of heritage or looking to really bizarre places and sources uh, for senses of belonging. Heck, that's like literally one of the avenues for radicalization is the lack of tribal uh, belonging and tri uh, <laughs> like the lack of tribal belonging makes it really easy for radical groups to sweep in and pick up disenfranchised youths and convince them to become Nazis or whatever. Um, whatever the radical group, uh, like this, it's really gotten pretty much every radical group does it these days, like from ISIS, all, like all Nazi groups, things like that. Um, but anyway, uh, the point stands. Um, what we need to be targeting is the enmity, not the tribal structure. Um, and, and it's like, certainly it's like every, any given tribe will have problems. Um, like the, like culture always has problems. Every culture has its weaknesses, its foibles and its vices. Um, but, but that, that, that you deal with that in a different way than saying tribes shouldn't exist or that tribalism or that like the very notion of tribe a tribal identity is the problem. Um, uh, cause, cause again, there's nothing natural about belonging to a tribe that makes you hate. Um, you make you hate, uh, you like all of us decide when we hate, it is because we have decided to do so. Even if it's a reaction, even if it feels like a natural reaction, it is still a choice. Uh, and, and, uh, and to a large degree, I feel like tribe, like the discussion criticism of tribalism, it's just, just like a total distraction from really what the problem is. Um, because we could have much, much deeper social divides. Um, or, or rather, our groups could be much more um, divi like distinct. Um, and we could still have a peaceful society if we had better rule, like if we were more willing to engage each other um, across lines. It's like the, the lines aren't the issue, so to speak. It's how we act around those lines. Um, and it's the choices we make, how we choose to interpret them, that's really at issue. Um, and it's like, if you really want to call that tribalism, I guess you could, but that's missing the issue, really. Because um, whether, uh, whether it's over labels or lines or whatever, it's, um, it's, like we, it's like we should have like an organized society and people have different backgrounds and contexts and cultures and that's fine um but yeah uh not like there's there's nothing sinister to uh, to be found in tribal in like tribal organization um and we really need to work harder on 
um, making better choices and thinking about the world in a more healthy way. Um, cause that's really more of the issue, um, than, than it is any like social structure issue. Um, cause as far as like, and, and this is true for a lot of social structures, social structures aren't like most of them aren't good or evil in and of themselves. Some of them do have like, some of them are more or less, but it's like, especially when we're talking about whether society is organized as tribes or not, um, that's just a choice of social organization. Um, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing depends entirely on how the people inside the groups uh, or, or inside the social structures make their choices and how they think of, and, and how they use those social structures. Um, but you can and you can see like how easy it is to um, and how convenient it is to instead of saying we are making bad choices to say um, to blame the social structures instead. Um, and sometimes social structures are to blame to be sure, but, um, it's, it's, I think it's just too convenient in this case. And I think that's, um, and I think it is a distraction because people can handle pretty much any given social structure and handle it fine. Um, but yeah, it's like, um, Yeah, people could handle people can handle tribal like tri a tribal society. People can handle it fine. Um, so, so, so the question is, why aren't we handling it fine? And I think that's much more important than like fear mongering over tribalism or like tribal organization or whatever, because um, that's like that's not really what's going on. Um, it's not the tribe. Like heck, it's like we lack tribes for like a lot of us. I don't, I don't have a lot of strong tribal affinities for, for sure. Um, but yeah, like learning to live in a tribal space is more of an it. It's like heck, like like to me, like the solution would be like learn how to be better members of tribes and better members of a tribal society sounds like a better solution than combating tribalism or whatever. Um, so this is just a suggestion on how to frame the issue. Um, and obviously, like, this discussion is somewhat semantic, but um, I think it's important. Anyway, see y'all on the flip side, and <coughs> don't get COVID. <laughs>